we'll lift our hands in worship. और हम आराधना स्तुति कर सकते हैं। We acknowledge you. हम आपको ग्रहण करते स्वीकार करते हैं। Lord of lords. प्रभु के प्रभुओं के प्रभु हैं। The King of kings. राजों के राजा हैं आप। All nations bow. सब राष्ट्र आपके सामने झुकते हैं। All knees submit. हर एक गुटन आपके सामने झुक जाता है। Because you are God and you are God alone. क्योंकि आप परमेश्वर हैं और आप ही परमेश्वर हैं बस। Nothing and no one comes close. और आपके करीब और कोई आ नहीं सकता है। Be exalted in power. क्योंकि आप बड़ी सामर्थ्य शाली ऊंचे में राजमान हैं। Be exalted in honor. और पूरी इस जो सत्कार पाए हुए हैं। Be exalted in glory. पूरी महिमा में आप जलाल में बैठे हुए हैं। We praise you for the privilege. प्रभु जी आज हमारा आदर्श स्तुति करते हैं। To be called sons and daughters of God. खुदा मनी इस भाग्य के लिए शुक्रगुजार हैं कि हम आपके बच्चे-बच्ची के बाद हैं। I thank you for the opportunity. प्रभु जी इस लम्हे के लिए अपना शुक्र करते हैं। To worship together. तेरी आराधना मिलके कर सकते हैं। With my brothers and my sisters. आपसे भाइयों बहनों के साथ मिलकर हम स्तुति करते हैं। Thank you for the family of God. खुदा मन तेरे लोगों के लिए तेरा शुक्र करता हूँ मैं। Thank you for this house. इस घर के लिए तेरा शुक्र करता हूँ। Thank you for this congregation। इस प्रभु जी के लिए सिर्फ इस शुक्र गुजार हूँ मैं। Thank you for this people। खुदा मन लोगों के लिए तेरा धन्यवाद करता हूँ मैं। Thank you for everything that you intend to do today। आज जो कुछ करने वाले हैं आप उसके लिए शुक्र अदा करते हैं। Now this is the day that the Lord has made। आज ये दिन जो आपने बनाया है। We will rejoice। हम इसमें आनंदित होते हैं। We will celebrate। और हम इसमें खुशी मनाएंगे। We will Thank you, Father. पिता जी धन्यवाद करते हैं। In the matchless name of Jesus. यीशु के अतुल्य नाम में। And everybody said Amen. सब लोगों ने कहा Amen तालियों के साथ दम के शब्द में। Everybody said Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said Hallelujah. मैंने कहा Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You can see I feel at home right here. आपको लग रहा है कि हम यहाँ पर हजूरी को महसूस कर रहे हैं। I'm just meeting pastor this evening. और खुदा उनका शुक्र करते हैं यहाँ के लिए। But it feels like I've known him forever. हम पहली बार मिलने पर ऐसा लग रहा है कि हम पहले से जानते हैं। Yes. He's got such a sweet spirit. Amen. यहाँ पर खुदा उनकी हजूरी का अच्छी sweet spirit पाई जाती है। Just just look at his face. बस देख क्योंकि चेहरे को देखिए इधर। Look at the smile. <laughs> it's a contagious smile. When he smiles, even if you were sad, you start smiling too. I feel an anointing upon the man of God. Pastor and I want to say, Pastor, the Lord bless you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for the opportunity. I am so delighted. मैं बहुत खुश हूँ बदाम। And I want to honor you, Pastor, and honor the work that God is doing through your life. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Thank you, Pastor. 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 I am a brother in the Lord Jesus. Permission में मैं आपका भाई हूँ। I tell you I love the Lord. मैं खुदावर से बड़ी मोहब्बत करता हूँ। I love him with passion. मैं बड़े दर्द के साथ, बड़ी खर्च के साथ उससे मोहब्बत करता हूँ। I didn't find the Lord, He found me. और मैंने भी उसे ढूँढा, उसने मुझे ढूँढ लिया। Yeah, I was the lost guy and the one found me. मैं खोया हुआ था, उसने मुझे ढूँढ लिया। I tell you, if I tell you where I was lost, you wouldn't believe it. I wasn't lost away from home. I was lost right at home. I was at home but lost. Now it's easy when people don't know their way, they're out there in the world and easily understand they are lost. But it's a different ballgame when you are in the church and you are lost. I'm the guy, I'm the child, I'm the other guy in the story of the lost son. 
who did not walk away from home that was at home and lost main udao putra ki kahani mein wo shakhs so jo ghar pe tha par khoya hua tha so for me i was born and raised in the church par mere liye ye kahani hai ki main mera jo padaish hai meri parvarish jo anglisia mein hui i got connected with the church i got connected with the music i got connected with the preaching but not connected with god maine prachar ko suna geeton ko suna sab kuch sama asaan se taluqat mera ho sakta tha par main khudaon se dur tha i knew how to sing the church song i knew how to dance the church dance i knew how to do the church lead but i didn't know the lord so mujhe pata tha church mein kya hota tha kya gana kya khana kya baithna kaise nachna sab mujhe aata tha par prabhu se milna mujhe nahi aata tha shout and people feel the holy ghost was on me main itna chalata tha logon ko abhishek mehsoos hota tha and people say wow how anointed he log kaise kitna abhishek hai masa iske upar hai but i tell you i was lost par main aapko batana chahta hu us uske beech mein main khoya hua tha i was lost singing in the church lost playing in the choir main, lost come on now i was lost right at home main khuda ke ghar pe rehta hua gaata hua sunata hu phir bhi khuda se dur tha khoya hua tha i was lost at a place that nobody could imagine i would stay there and be lost main itna khoya hua tha jahan par log ye grateful for the grace of god he found me where nobody thought i could be jab kisi ko is baat ki khabar nahi thi tab khuda ne mujhe chuna liya aur pakda liya the place where nobody thought i could be there and the lost that god found me right there khuda ne mujhe usi jagah par dhoond liya pa liya mujhe bacha liya he found me in the pews of the church singing and dancing he found me there in his grace and in his jab se us pews ke andar kalise ke andar gaa raha tha baja raha tha khuda ne mujhe pakad liya he washed me with his precious blood अपने बेशकीमती लहू से मुझे धो दिया उसने ही कॉल मी इन टू हिज मिनिस्ट्री उसने मुझे अपनी सेवाई के लिए बुला लिया आई हैव द ऑनर एंड प्रिविलेज मेरे लिए बड़ी सौभाग्य की खुशकिस्मती की बात टू रिप्रेजेंट द किंगडम ऑफ हेवन के खुदावर की बात शहर की बात करूं मैं व्हाट अ जॉय दैट आई स्टैंड बिफोर यू इन नाइट आपके सामने खड़ा होना मेरे लिए बड़ी खुशी की हर सेव्ड एंड सैंक्टिफाइड एंड वॉश्ड इन द ब्लड ऑफ द लैम बचाया हुआ खुदा के लहू से पाक साफ शुद्ध किया हुआ स्पिरिट फील Talk, talking and heaven bound atma se bhara hua gas ban to hua raise your hands somebody and shout amen hallelujah come on i say shout amen hallelujah praise god praise the lord and so that's a little bit of who i am ye meri thodi choti si kahani hai ki main kya kaam karta tha and the lord called me to his ministry par unhone mujhe khidmat ke liye bula liya born and raised in a nation called cameroon in the south in the west part of africa africa ke west part mein jo desh hai wahan par mera janm hua my parents hail from the great nation of nigeria mere jo jo mata pita hai nigeria se aate hain so i have all this mixture in my life to isliye mera jo jo hai life jo parivar hai mix hai is tarah se my mother was raised in the nation of cameroon as well meri jo mata hai wo cameroon desh se aati hai my seven all my siblings were all born and raised in the nation of cameroon aur mere kitne rishtedar jo cameroon se paaye jaate hain i ended up in the nation called ireland aur main ireland mein chale gaya so i have cameroon nigeria and ireland to isliye main cameroon nigeria aur ireland sab ka mix बना के ये खड़ा होता है। When people ask me where are you from, जब लोग मुझे कहते हैं आप कहाँ से हैं, I say it depends where you are from. तो इसलिए मैं कहता हूँ कि आप कहाँ से उसे निर्भर होता है। If you are from Africa, अगर आप अफ्रीका से हैं, just not any part of Africa. Tell me where in Africa. और आप कहें मैं पूछूंगा अगर अफ्रीका के कौन से इलाके से हैं? Whichever country you have affiliation to, then I'm from that country. अगर आप किसी खास बात के बारे में बताएंगे कि अफ्रीका के इस इलाके से तो मैं कहूंगा मैं उस उधर से आया। From the west, I'm from Ireland. If you're if you're from Africa, I'm from Africa. अगर आप अफ्रीका से तो मैं कहूंगा मैं अफ्रीका से हूँ। So and then if you are if it's too complicated, I just tell them I'm from Calgary. और अगर ज़्यादा समझ नहीं आता तो मैं कहता हूँ मैं Calgary से हूँ। Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So I married only to one wife. तो मेरा जो शादी है एक ही पत्नी से हुआ है. A beautiful, beautiful lady. बहुत सुंदर wife है. Serving the Lord with me and and our children. और अपने बच्चों के साथ, wife के साथ मिलकर खुदा उनकी सेवकाई करते हैं. They are serving the Lord in the nation of Ireland. Ireland में सेवकाई करते हैं वहाँ पर हम. And uh, 
God has given me a ministry that uh, takes me to different regions of the world. मुझे खुदा ने ऐसी खिदमत दी है जिस वजह से मैं कई मुल्कों में जाकर प्रभु की प्रचार और सेवाएं करता हूं। I just I I actually came into New York coming from the Bahamas where we're doing a conference. हम बहामास देश में कुछ कॉन्फ्रेंस कर रहे थे उस वजह से मुझे न्यूयॉर्क में आकर सेवा करना पड़ा। I I was meeting some great people in the nation of Bahamas. और बहामास में बहुत अच्छे खुदावन के दासों के साथ मुलाकात हो रही थी having a conference there with a, a wonderful ministry wahan par bahut achhi conference kar rahe the sevakayon ke sath milkar and uh, after i preached from here i'll be heading to the airport to fly back to ireland yahan par prachar sevakay khatam karte mujhe seedha airport mein jana hai aur wahan se mujhe ireland chalna hai probably just to be back again in the us for next week and for another conference in oh. chicago aur fir main agle hi week शिकागो में एक और कॉन्फ्रेंस पे वापस आऊंगा में आप याद रखें और अभी मैं आप लोगों का भाई हूं आपसे काफी पहचान होगी अभी So I love it that the Lord allowed me the privilege to stop by and be with wonderful people. इसलिए खुदावन ने सौभाग्य दिया कि बीच में रुक कर आपसे मुलाकात करूं और खुदावन की खिदमत कर सकूं। Ah, Pastor just mentioned Pastor Roy who is a mutual friend. और मैंने मेंशन किया Pastor Roy के बारे में जो मेरा मित्र है और इनका मित्र है हमारे दोनों का मित्र है। Pastor Roy has been to our church and literally he comes to our church every year. और कहा जाए कि पास्टर रॉय हमारे चर्च में हर साल आते हैं सर ग्रेट फ्रेंड ग्रेट ब्रदर एंड अगेन ग्रेट मैन ऑफ बड़े अच्छे मित्र हैं खुदा उनके अच्छे दास हैं मेरे आई एम ग्रेटफुल दैट ही इज अलाउड थ्रू हिज रिलेशनशिप विद पास्टर ही इज अलाउड मी टू गेट कनेक्टेड उनकी वजह से हमारे दोनों की मुलाकात हो रही है तो मैं शुक्र करता हूं खुदा व्हाट पास्टर टू नो दैट आयरलैंड इज ओपन टू यू यस पास्टर को कहना चाहते हैं कि आयरलैंड आपके लिए खुला है आपका स्वागत है आपका गॉड इज ग्रेट Well, I'm going to share. Let me not take all the time talking about me. Let's talk about Jesus. I am Prabhu. की बात करते हैं हमारी बातें काफी हो गई हैं अभी. I want to leave you with a word that will motivate you, inspire you, remind you, encourage you, and establish you in who you are in Christ. ऐसे वचन से एक बात करते हैं जो आपको मजबूत करेगा, सामर्थी बनाएगा और आपको मसीह ज़िंदगी जीने में सहायता करेगा. I want to talk to you this evening briefly on what I would call. Uh, a greater a superior a better covenant main aisi baat karna cha raha hu jisko kehte hain ki behtar vaacha khudaavan ke saath behtar vaacha jo pratigya you have a covenant aapka ek ahd hai khuda ke saath and you have a better covenant ek behtar ahd hai khudaavan ke saath in christ jesus masi yesu ke saath hone ki wajah se now be mindful because i didn't say you have a promise maine ye nahi kaha ki vaada hai Now you have promises. आपके वायदे होते हैं. But I'm not talking about promises. मैं वायदों की बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ. I want you to understand that your relationship with Jesus. आपका मसीह के साथ जो रिश्ता है. Is not on the foundation of a promise. वो वायदों के ऊपर आधारित नहीं है. It is on the foundation of a covenant. वो एक अहद के ऊपर एक वाचा के ऊपर निर्भर है. What are you saying, brother? आप कहेंगे भाई आप क्या बात कर रहे हैं? I'm declaring to you tonight that you are a covenant. मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूं आप अहद के बच्चे हैं What do you mean when you say covenant? आप क्या कहते हैं जब अहद की या वाचा की बात होती तो क्या होती है For those of you who are married here tonight, जितने लोग शादीशुदा उनके साथ बात करना चाहूंगा the, the, Before you got married to your spouse, आप अपने साथी से विवाहित होने से पहले You gave them a promise. आप एक वायदे से मुड़कर और आगे बढ़कर आप अहद में चले जाते हैं 
up and now you cannot just walk away because you have covenanted to be with that person until death do not part you move from a promise to a covenant and covenant is no joke God is a covenant keeping God. Your relationship with Jesus is not just a promise, it is a covenant. Now let me take it to another level so I give you better understanding. You must understand that the relationship we have with God from old to new is all about covenants. Of course, there are multiplicities of covenants in the Bible. But for tonight, I want to talk to you just about two major covenants. There is one in the Old Testament, there is one in the New Testament. By the way, the word testament is mean is covenant. In the old covenant, God has covenant with one nation. It's called the nation of Israel and they are known as the Jews. And you must understand, just as I use marriage as an illustration, that the relationship between God and His people is a relationship of marriage. Because God will call the Jews out of Egypt. God would take them through the wilderness. And God will bring them at the feet of a mountain called Sinai. And at the feet of the mountain called Sinai, God will enter a covenant with them. And God will later speak to the Jews and say, You are my people and I am your God. God will speak to his prophets and say to them, tell the Jews, I am their husband and the Jews are my wife. It is a covenant relationship. But now, if you come over to the new covenant, God in Christ creates a new covenant not with one nation but with a kingdom called the church. The church is a nation that com that contains or that co accommodates or takes into consideration all the nations of the earth. The church is a nation without borders, without geographical barriers, without a specific race. The church is a conglomeration of people from all nations, all tribes, all people, all races, all colors, whatever you want to call it. All of them, they are part of the church. And God will begin a new covenant in Christ Jesus. And God would say, in the relationship or in the covenant with Christ. That Christ is the bride, the, the groom. And the church is the bride of Christ. Still giving us the same picture of marriage. 
because our relationship with God is not just a promise, it's built on the foundation of a covenant. If you understand me, raise your hand and say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a covenant. We are a covenant people. We are covenant people. We are a covenant people. And so tonight I want to tell you that you've got a better covenant in Christ. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12. From verse number 18. The Bible says. We have not come to this mountain that could be touched. A mountain with blazing fire and darkness and gloom and tempest. And this mountain had the sounds of trumpet and voice whose words made the hearers beg that no further message could be spoken to them. Verse 20 said they could not endure the order that was given, the command that was given, they could not endure it. He said, if even a beast touches the mountain, it shall be stolen. Verse 21 says, indeed, it was so terrifying, so terrifying was the sight that even Moses said, I trembled with fear. What mountain is the writer of Hebrew describing? He is describing Mount Sinai. Where God entered the first covenant with the nation of Israel. He is describing Mount Sinai. Where God gave the laws to the nation of Israel, his bride. He is describing the first covenant at Mount Sinai. Where the people of Israel came before God and when God spoke through thunders and lightning blasts and all kinds of quake that the people became terrified hearing the voice of God. So the writer is not just talking about a mountain. He is talking about a covenant. But look at verse number 22. It says, but, but, that means that there is a contrast between the old and the new. It began by saying that you have not come to that mountain, but you have come to this mountain. He said that you have come to Mount Zion. And to the city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem and the two innumerable angels in, in festival gathering. And to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven. And to God, the judge of all. To the spirit of the righteous made perfect. 24. And to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, a new covenant, 
and to the sprinkled blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. That's where we are. We are not in Sinai. The church is not in Sinai. Church to have Sion Parmat ke pass to Ahedeus ke pass to him. The church is at Zion. Church to have Uswagi Sion ke pass. We are not at Mount Sinai, we are at Mount Zion. Hum Sine Parmat ke pass to him, Sion Desh ke pass. We are not at the old, we are at the new. Hum Purane Ahed ke pass to him, Nahi Vacha me at you. We are not with Moses, we are with Jesus. We are not in the law, we are in the grace. Come on, shout in and somebody. That's exactly where we are. Can I go farther? I give us to him. Yes. If you understand me, you got to talk to me so I can. Can I go farther? Yes. Yes. I'd love to hear you. Can I go farther? Yes. Praise God. Good. In Psalm chapter 89 and verse number 34. God says about covenant. My covenant. I will not break. God never breaks a covenant. No, he never breaks a covenant. You see, that's why I say you are a covenant child. The covenant cannot be broken. God will not break a covenant. He said, I will not, my covenant, I will not break, neither will I alter the words. The covenants, the covenant that God makes is not changeable. Whatever God has covenanted with you is not subject to change. For the Almighty is not man that he should lie, neither is he the Son of Man that he should change his life. God is not like man that tells you this today and tells you that tomorrow. God is so God that whatever he says, you can depend on his word and you can stand on it all the days of your life. The word of God is a sure foundation. He is not just speaking up to words. He is a God of covenants. Come on, somebody shout amen. 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 Hallelujah. Can I go on somebody? Ephesians chapter 2 and verse number 12. He said that you were at a time a If 
you were not a Jew, not from Israel, not from the lineage of Abraham, the old covenant does not come. And if you are without Jesus, the new covenant does not cover you. Come on there, somebody. Are you hearing me? Yes. If you are not in Christ and you are not with Israel, you are without hope. I didn't say that, the Bible says it. I didn't say it. L let me read it for you. Let me read it for you. Are, are you there with me, somebody, tonight? Let me read it for you. It, it, it says in the Word of God that you were a time past, a, a time apart without, without Christ. Alienated from the commonwealth of Israel. And strangers to the covenants of promise. Mind you, it says covenants with an S. Because it's referring to the two covenants, the one with Israel and the one with the church. Not a Jew, no covenant. Not in the church, no covenant. And it says, without hope and without God in the world. If you are not in Christ, you are hopeless. I don't care how many cars you have and how many houses you build. If you don't have Christ, you are hopeless. I don't care how many zeros you have after the figures in your bank account. If you don't have Christ, you are hopeless. Hallelujah. I don't care how popular you are. I don't care how respected you are. I don't care what doors open for you. If you are not in Christ, you are in this world without hope. I've seen so many people that are comfortable but hopeless. I've seen so many people that are rich but hopeless. Don't envy a hopeless man. Without Christ, without hope. But I love what the Bible says. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed. He didn't say if any man be in church. Yeah, I know so many people are in church like I was. I'm in church, I'm in church. There are several people in church dancing to hell. Let any man be in Christ. Ask your neighbor, are you in Christ? I know I see you in church, but are you in Christ? I saw you lifting your hands singing before God, but are you in Christ? I see the size of your Bible, but that doesn't tell me if you are in Christ. Are you in Christ? Come on now. Hallelujah. Are you in Christ? Come on, somebody shout amen. Can I go forward? Can I I go father. Yes. For <laughs> Matthew chapter 26 and verse number 28. Before Jesus would take the cross. He sits with his disciples. And he ate what you call the last supper. 
और आखिरी भोजन करते हैं और ये से कहते हैं For this is my blood कि ये मेरा लहू है ऑफ द कार्ड नए अहद का विच इज बींग फॉर जो उड़ेरा जाता है फॉर मैन बहुतों के लिए फॉर द फॉरगिवनेस क्योंकि जो माफी है ऑफ सेन वो गुनाहों की जो माफी है उसकी बात करते हैं माफियो ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी एट छब्बीस आ जाए मती के जीरो उसके अट्ठाईस आयत में कहते हैं ब्रदर्स सो एंजॉय द मैसेज दैट ही फॉरगॉट द वर्स ठीक है मती के जी छब्बीस आ जाए अट्ठाईस आयत Matthew twenty six twenty eight. For this is my blood. ये मेरा लहू है. वो कहते हैं. Blood of my new covenant. ठीक है जो. Amen. Don't worry about it. Let's keep going. आगे बढ़ते हैं हम. चलते जाएंगे. It says for the forgiveness. लिखा है माफी के लिए बहार जाए. Somebody said forgiveness. कोई नहीं माफी. You're not talking. Somebody said forgiveness. माफी. Forgiveness. माफी. Of sins. गुनाहों की. Now, why is your covenant in Christ superior? क्यों मसीह में जो अहद है वो बड़ा? Here's where I'm going to begin. I'll give you all the verses that I need to give you. So here's where I'm going to begin. और मैं बताना चाहूँगा सुने जरूर ध्यान से जाओ. If I get enough time, I'll tell you more. If I have less time, I'll tell you less. जितना ज़्यादा टाइम होगा ज़्यादा बताएँ ये कम होगा तो कम बताएँ. Now, the reason why the covenant you have in Christ is superior. क्यों मसीह में जो अहद है वो ज्यादा बेहतर है और अच्छा नंबर वन इज द सैक्रिफाइस पहली बात इसलिए कि उसमें जो कुर्बानी है उस वजह से एवरीबॉडी से सैक्रिफाइस कुर्बानी कम ऑन डू इट लाइक दैट सैक्रिफाइस कुर्बानी आई डिड हियर यू कम ऑन से सैक्रिफाइस सैक्रिफाइस नाउ आई वांट टू टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट लिसन द एवरी कॉवेनेंट इज एनैक्टेड बाय अ सैक्रिफाइस हर एक अहद जो है वो कुर्बानी से सील किया जाता है वो उसको बंद किया जाता है Anybody who wants to get married and is not ready to sacrifice, you cannot stay. अगर कोई शादी करना चाहता है और बलिदान नहीं करना चाहता तो ज़्यादा देर तक शादी नहीं चलेगी. Marriage is not just about taking marriage; it's about sacrificing. जो विवाह में एंटर होने का मतलब है कि बलिदान करना पड़ेगा, त्याग करना पड़ेगा कुछ बातों का. If you find a man that has been married thirty years, fifty years, how many, so many years? And ask them the secret. They'll tell you how much sacrifice it takes. अगर कोई आप शख्स से मिलेंगे जो 20, 30, 40 साल से शादी शुदा आप उसे पूछेंगे कितना त्याग करना पड़ा उसे. Covenants are enacted by sacrifice. जितने अहद होते हैं उसमें त्याग होता है कुर्बानी होती है. How was the Old Testament covenant enacted? कितन कैसे पुराना अहद बांधा जाता था? Sacrifice. कुर्बानी होती थी. God told the Jews. खुदाब ने यहूदियों को कहा, When they were about to leave Egypt, जब वो मिस्र की गुलामी से छूटने वाले थे, Sacrifice the lamb, बलिदान चढ़ाओ मेमने का, Sacrifice the lamb, बलिदान चढ़ाओ कुर्बानी के लाओ, When they get to the feet of Sinai, जब वो सियों सिने पर्वत के पास, When God entered the covenant with the nation of Israel, जब इस्राएल के साथ खुदा ने अहद बांधा, God said to them again. खुदा ने फिर से कहा सैक्रिफाइस अल्लाह कुर्बानी चढ़ाओ हाउ वाज द ओल्ड टेस्टामेंट कॉमनेंट सस्टेन कैसे पुराना अहद बना रहता था द बाइबल सेज एंड द हाई प्रिस्ट बाइबल कहती है जो महायाज्ञिक होता था वेंट इनटू द होली ऑफ होल्स वहां पवित्र स्थान में जाया करते थे वंस इन अ ईयर साल में एक बार वो जाया करते थे टू परफॉर्म अ सैक्रिफाइस ताकि वो बलिदान चढ़ा सके ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द नेशन पूरे देश के लिए चढ़ाता था Is how you enact a covenant. हर एक अहद कुर्बानी से बांधा जाता था. Now, what kind of sacrifice did they have in the old covenant? पुराने अहद में किस तरह की कुर्बानी होती थी कैसा कौन बांधा जाता था? The sacrifice of the old covenant was sacrifice of animals. जितने पुराने अहद नामे में जो अहद है उसमें जानवरों का कौन बांधा जाता था? They killed animals. वो जानवरों को मारते थे. They spilled the blood of animals. To enact the sacrifice of the Old Testament. The what about the covenant that you have in Christ? So Masih me kurbani hai ya ahad hai uske baare mein kya kya? I want to let you know that as the Church of Jesus. Ab Masih ki kisiya hone ke naate bata raha hai. It is not an animal that died for you. Or Masih me koi jaanwar aapke liye nahi mara hai. The sacrifice. 
sacrifice of the New Testament is the sacrifice of Jesus, the Son of God. John looked at Jesus and called him the Lamb of God. I want to let you know that a cow did not die for you. A sheep, the Lamb of God, did not die for you. God condescended from glory and took on flesh and decided to die on the cross in the person of his son Jesus for the remission of your sin. Can I hear somebody shout? Hallelujah. Oh, that's why you got a better deal in Jesus. Many, 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 many 
sacrifice. You tear it up. Sacrifice. Kurbani. You do something else. Sacrifice. They have sin sacrifice. They, they had all kinds of sacrifice. Many, many, many sacrifices. In fact, the Bible says for the entire nation of Israel, their sacrifice was done yearly. By the high priest who goes into the Holy of Holies. And before he goes there, he makes sure he takes care of his own mess. Because if he dare steps into that inner department, compartment, with a single stain of sin in his life, he will die right there. And so he goes with a long cord around him. That extends right into the in a corpse. So that if he happens to die in there, nobody's going to enter there and commit suicide as well. They'll rather stay outside and pull the guy out. Why? The inner compartment of the temple called the Holy of Holies was not available to everybody. And yet they make multiple sacrifices. But the Bible tells me in the new covenant when Jesus died on the cross he spoke that one last word it is finished. No more animal sacrifices. Why? Because the blood of Is enough. They killed many animals in the old sacrifice. Only one sacrifice in the new. Many, many, many animals in the old. Many animals for one nation. Many animals for one nation. But in the new sacrifice, in the new covenant, one sacrifice for every nation. One sacrifice for every nation. Christ didn't die for one nation, he died for every nation. No father sacrifice. Come on, say amen, sir. Amen. Why is the new covenant better than the old one? Are you ready for this one? Somebody say access. 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 How do you pronounce it? Access. Access. I don't know how you pronounce it. Entrance. Door. You got access. That you, that you didn't have in the old covenant. In the old covenant. Only one guy. Had the right. To enter the holy of holies. And enjoy momentarily. The glory and the presence of God. One guy, one guy. He could not even stay there. He only has to visit it. Why, why everybody else stays outside? But the Bible says when Christ died on the cross, they fell that divided the Holy of Holies from the inner court. So that everybody can now walk into the glory.
glory of God. Come on, shout amen. Hallelujah. The place that there was limited access, now we have free access. And by the way, when they walk into that presence, they are careful not to die. Right now, the Bible says, you can come boldly. You can come boldly into the presence. I want to let you know in the old covenant. They could not approach God by themselves. They had to come through a high priest or through somebody. But in the new covenant. You have direct access to God. You have a direct line to heaven. I want to let you know tonight. No pastor, no bishop, nobody has a monopoly on God over you. I don't care who you are, where you are. You can access the presence of God 24 7 by yourself. You have access. You have access to God Himself. Come on, say Amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Maybe I'll give you one last one and I'll be fine. Our time is gone. Our time is gone. <laughs> oh, I wasn't looking at that time. Time didn't dekh rahe the, hum waise right le rahe the. Lord, keep the clock still. Khuda hum ye ghadi kahi le the, bandho de raab karke. I mean, if you know Joshua did that. Aapko pata hai Joshua ne kya kiya? Yeah. Waqt ko rok diya tha usne. Surya wahi par rok diya usne. Keep the clock, keep the clock, keep the clock. Prabhu, raab karke ghadi ye the rahe the. Come on, say hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. I'll give you one last one. Why is your covenant, the new covenant, your covenant in Christ, why is it superior? Why is it superior? Are you ready for this one? Come on, I said, are you ready for this one? Yeah. The Bible says, the last verse that we read in the book of Hebrews. He says, the blood speaks better things. I wish I could talk enough of this one. It says to speak better things than the blood of Abel. What is the blood of Abel? This message I'm preaching to you now is a series that I do forever. I do it for, for, for so I'm just giving you the, 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 the pieces. Take this very quickly. Abel and Cain performed the second recorded sacrifice in the Bible. The first ever performed sacrifice in scripture was done by God himself. When Adam and Eve had fallen into sin. Ran into the garden and got fig leaves to cover their face. The Bible says God came. And God covered them with skin. Where did God get skin? For the first time, a living thing died. Because God had taken skin from an animal. 
क्योंकि खुद परमेश्वर ने जानवर के उस स्किन से के लिए वस्त्र प्रोवाइड कवरिंग फॉर आदम आदम और हवा के लिए लिबास बनाने के लिए जानवर का लाकत हुआ ना लिसन टू मी के अब ध्यान से सुनिएगा स्किन कवर स्किन जो जो चमड़ा है चमड़ी को छुपाता है ब्लड कवर से खून जो है वो गुनाहों को धो डालता है स्किन कवर स्किन जो चमड़ा चमड़ी को छुपाता है बट ब्लड कवर से पर खून जो है वो गुनाहों को छुपाता है That was how God established the first pattern of sacrifice. इस तरीके से पहला कुर्बानी चढ़ाने का तरीका प्रभु ने बनाया। From the moment man fell into sin. जब इंसान ने गुनाह किया, when Cain and Abel decided to sacrifice unto God. जब कान और हाबल ने सोचा कि हम कुर्बानी चढ़ाएंगे, Abel provided an animal sacrifice to God. और हाबल ने कुर्बानी चढ़ाई वाह क्यों चढ़ाई बिकॉज एम बेल अंडरस्टूड क्योंकि हाबिल जो समझ गया था कैसी कुर्बानी चढ़ानी गॉड इज ओनली अपीज बाय ब्लड खुदावन को जब गुनाह होता है तो कुर्बानी से ही जो है शांत किया जाता है व्हेन आदम एंड ईव सिन गॉड वाज ओनली अपीज बाय द ब्लड ऑफ एन एनिमल जब आदम और हवा ने गुनाह किया तो कुर्बानी चढ़ाने से जो है समाप्ति हुई शांत हुआ सारा कह सो एम बेल किल एन एनिमल इसलिए हाबिल ने जानवर की कुर्बानी चढ़ा के खून बहाया एंड इन द केस ऑफ एबल टू ब्लड आर स्पीयर्ड और वहां पर हाबिल के टाइम पर दो जो वहां पर खून की बाइबल सेज द ब्लड स्पीक्स बेटर थिंग्स देन द ब्लड ऑफ एबल और बाइबल कहती है कि हाबिल का खून बहुत से बेहतर बातें होती है उस द फर्स्ट ब्लड पहला जो खून है इज द ब्लड ऑफ द सैक्रिफाइस ऑफ एबल्स एनिमल और जो हाबिल की कुर्बानी है उसका खून बात करता है द किलिंग ऑफ एनिमल वाज ओकेजन बाय द फॉल ऑफ मैन और वो गिरा जाने की वजह से उसको कुर्बानी चढ़ानी पड़ी सो व्हेन केन किल्ड एन एनिमल जब काइन ने जो कुर्बानी चढ़ाई दैट ब्लड फ्रॉम द एनिमल वो जो खून था द वॉइस ऑफ दैट ब्लड उस जो कुर्बानी के खून की जो आवाज है Spoke of the fallen nature of man. वो इंसान की गिरी हुई परस्ती को बताता है. The animal is dying because man has fallen. जानवर की जान जा रही है क्योंकि इंसान ने गुनाह किया है. So the blood of Cain's animal pointed to our fallen nature. इसलिए वो कुर्बानी जो है हमारी गिरी हुई परस्ती को हरातों को बताता है. In other words, the blood said, "You are a sinner." और वो कहता है कि आप गुनाहगार हैं. In other words, the blood said, "You have the condemned and the fallen nature." Or, वो खून कहता है कि तुम गिरे हुए हो, दोषी हो, गिर चुके हो. In other words, the blood said, "You need forgiveness. You need covering. You need help from God." इसलिए वो खून बताता है कि आपको माफी चाहिए, आप गिरा होने पर स्त्री उठना चाहिए. So that blood was seeking to appease God because of our fallen nature. जो कि हमारी गिरी हुई परस्ती की वजह से खुदा से बात करके कहता है कि इंसान को माफी चाहिए. But then Abel came did not came sacrifice did not please God. पर वो जो कुर्बानी थी वो खुदाओं को पसंद नहीं आई वहाँ. So a second blood had to was spilled. तो इसलिए दूसरी कुर्बानी चढ़ाई गई. Cain killed his brother. Cain ने अपने भाई की हत्या कर दी. Now Abel's animal was killed. That blood was talking. और हाबिल की कुर्बानी जो है वो खून जो है बात कर रहा है ना किंग की उस एबे काइन ने हाबिल को मारा है एंड एबे उस ब्लड आल्सो बिगन टू स्पीक और हाबिल का खून बातें करने लग गया ना व्हाट वाज एबे उस ब्लड स्पीकिंग टू गॉड और हाबिल का खून क्या बातें कर रहा है द बाइबल सेज दिस इज हाउ वी नो बाइबल कहती है इस तरह से हमें पता चला है गॉड कॉल्ड आउट टू किंग और खुदावन काइन को कहता है एंड सेड वेयर इज योर ब्रदर मेरा भाई कहां है बिकॉज क्योंकि आई हैड द वॉइस ऑफ हिज ब्लड क्योंकि उसके खून की आवाज मैंने सुनी है दैट इज गॉड स्पीकिंग टू केन और ये बात खुदा काइन से कह रहा है आई हैड द वॉइस ऑफ द ब्लड ऑफ योर ब्रदर मेरे भाई के खून की आवाज मेरे कानों में आई है वेयर कहां पर क्राइंग From the ground, वो जमीन से बोलती है. You hear me? Yeah. Are you still with me? Yes. Yeah. He said the blood. 
God was crying out from the ground. By implication, God responded to the voice of Abel's blood. And came after his killer. Which means Abel's blood cried out for justice. Saying, avenge my killer. Avenge my killer. And when God had the cry of Abel's blood, God came after his killer. Are you there with me? Are you there with me? So Abel's blood said, Lord, bring justice. Bring judgment. But then the Bible says there's another blood. The blood of Cain and the blood of Jesus. Yes. The blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. So I'm mixing the names with Cain and Abel. There is the blood of Abel. So what is the blood of Jesus talking about? Do you know why Jesus came in the flesh? The Bible says he came in the flesh. I don't have time to tell you this. You know why? Because only flesh can carry blood. Angels don't carry blood. He had to come in the flesh so that he would carry blood. As long as Abel's blood runs in his vein, God was quiet. Heaven was quiet. But the very time Abel's blood was spilled to the ground, God said, I hear his blood speaking from the ground. So here comes Jesus with blood in his and Satan in his foolishness thought let us kill him so that we can stop him but Satan did not know if he spills the blood of Christ he empowers the blood to speak from the ground hallelujah Blood does not speak until it is speared. Are you there with me, somebody? When Satan brought Jesus to the cross, seven different spots from Christ's body, blood came out. Until completely his blood was drained. And then he said, It is. Finished. Satan did not know. By spilling the blood of Jesus, he empowers the blood of the Son of God to cry from the ground. What did the blood of Jesus cry to the Father? The blood did not say justice and judgment. The blood said mercy, mercy. The blood of Jesus cries out for mercy on your behalf and on my behalf. Come on, somebody say amen. Why? saved because of the mercy of his blood why am I forgiven because of the mercy of his blood why am I healed by his stripes we were healed every blessing that we need was manifested by the spirit blood of Christ before God Satan thought he was about to stop Jesus. He did not know he was empowering the blood to speak on your behalf. 
If you are sick here tonight, I hear the blood crying out for healing over you. If you have a bondage in your life here tonight, I hear the blood declaring freedom over your life. The blood is speaking over you tonight. Sometimes when I find myself in tough situation, I don't know what to do. I just cry out the blood of Jesus. And I tell you the blood begins to manifest over me. How did Israel come out from Egypt? They had to put the blood on their doorposts. They had to put the, door, the blood on the lintel and on the doorposts.